Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 6th of March and the challenge Saturday that I impose upon myself. Uh, today we're stealing three parts of a Sir Cincy Monoceros Mark IV, killing as few people as possible. We are dying, tough, vindictive, X Glitcher. X Glitcher is probably the only one that will have any relevance. We got a conk hammer since it's a challenge day. We cannot bash dash with it. Uh, we got a self charging long range crash beam that's very nice. An acid trap. We're pretty well set. We might be going a bit slow because we're not bash dashing and we can't swap in if we get a swapper and stuff like that, but we've got some good equipment to take care of pretty much everything. Then we got Jammer Gates, Light Reinforcements, Heat Sensors, Emergency Shields. Yeah, we can take care of the Emergency Shields just fine with the Crash Beam or with the Hammer, if we're fast enough. So this should all go pretty smoothly unless we screw things up. Hey, there's a three second dock. There we go. All right. So I want to avoid, well, do I, do I need to avoid your vision? Because we're probably only going to need to crash a maximum of three people. And since we're walking, we'll probably have an extra crash anyways. So I don't really care about you seeing me. He will shoot at me and set off the alarm, which is a bit annoying, but I don't actually care about like this getting blown up. No, I do care about it getting blown up because that would mean potentially me getting thrown out the back. That would be funny though. Oh wait, never mind. You have concussive weapons, so it's all perfectly fine. All right, so I'm not entirely sure when you can shoot again. So this is very risky. Okay, we're fine. And we're just trying to not kill people. So we are free to use these concussive guns. All right, then... We can go this way for a crate, or this way, which is much, much faster. Uh, we'll just go this way. For the speed. So one part that's not always relevant for these challenges is I'm not allowed to use the steel item figure out well, I can figure out what it is but I can't use it because I think that most people do not know that it is an item that you can use so it's an extra challenge and also it's randomly generated like even if two people play the same daily challenge the steel item will be different um, I shoot you Will you go out the window? I hope not. Because that's what I'm going to have to do. Alright, that scared me for a second. Alright, so we can go over there, remote control the pod, and get it set up. The alarm's going off, but I don't care. Alright, there's no reason to go down here, because the key was over here anyways. And I could walk down there, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and have to go out. But it's an extra item, 
Mm. Uh, I'm gonna go for it and I accidentally threw that. All right. And take you out. Apparently it's been long enough since you've heard this the bullet that you put down your shield. And that's completely useless. I no, uh, not completely useless, but that's pretty useless. Pretty useless. Oh well. Walk up here so we get a little bit better angle on the window and yeah I guess going out this window did help protect me from having to catch the other body over there but oh well yeah I'm glad I think I made the right choice in going for the crate it just was unlucky Okay, glitch dash, concussive, shield, serious guard kits, all right. And reinforcements. So the only use that I can think of for the quiet shotgun is it is a way out uh, by blowing up engines, which is valid, which is valid. Three seconds again. Okay, do I have do I have it back for a long time there? I was getting no three second ones. Okay, definitely getting this crate. This is right there. Um I was going to drop okay, am I gonna use the shotgun here? Where's the target? Target's right here. It's probably a bit faster to go out this eh, it's probably about the same I don't have to remote control the pod as much okay so hello let's crash you give you a shot these are small pods only two guards in each one Almost never see that past chip one. Ooh, visitor. That's nice, that's nice. We could use that to get this crate. If we get a slipstream, it would become very powerful. I don't like, I don't love that it's loud, but it's not the worst. So we can spend two extra seconds to get a crate. That's better than the like six six seconds that we took to get the crate before. I'm gonna do it. Crash grenade launcher, not something that we need, but kinda nice. If it was a subvert, that would be very good. Hello? The reinforcements coming from here. That's not something that we really need to worry about. Is this... It's timed. Okay, never mind. That's pretty bad. Not much luck in the box department so far. Hey, 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 hey. Now I really wish I hadn't used that other visitor. Whoops. 
All right. Well, yeah, we're not going to be using an acid trap. So we still can use a slipstream. We just cannot pathfind using it. So we will activate it manually. Or in this way, I wonder if I remote control from here, will I continue getting? Will I get flung? I'm still moving. That does not look like I'm flung. Nah, I just slowed down. Okay, we'll pick this up. And this is no longer faster. Plus, we've got someone in the way. Uh, is it faster? I have to take care of you. I think so. I think if I can, I want to redirect myself back here. Eh, that didn't work. Okay, so what if so if I speed myself up like this and then I throw this, I no longer have control and I've got momentum flinging me over here. So now I can remote control the pod. And unfortunately, I need a dock again because I was undocked. And so now I'm moving at slipstream speeds and still remote controlling the pod. That is a janky way to take advantage of that. That is jank and I love it. Okay, I've slowed down by now. Uh, I'm not going to use the loud weapon because we've got the glitch dashers that could be a problem. Quiet. Looks like it's safe, even though it's lethal. wonder if this will get me closer to the pod. Nope. All right. That was a very janky way to use the slipstream and remote controlling the pod. I will d take it. At least I think it worked. I wasn't paying super close attention. It could have just been me walking slowly the whole time. Okay, we have random kits. Uh... That means that the acid trap could come in handy. But I don't think I'm going to worry about that. Tracker, defender, uh, should I worry about it? So, another thing that I cannot do is I cannot crash the... the telepad from outside the ship, which is something I normally could do. And that means I don't have to deal with reinforcements if the alarm goes off. Um, the big advantage we have is that we have a slipstream, so we can get through most of it pretty quickly. Um, don't think I'm gonna bother with the acid trap. I'd rather have the concussive gun. <clears throat> Let's look at this again. We've got tracker. Tracker's going to be our biggest issue, but we can crash them. Okay. Alright, one entry point. Just going to approach from directly behind. That was a nice save for three seconds again. All right, seems I have it back. May have been a mental block or something that I had. Okay, so we got to get up here. Oh, oh, I know what we're doing. I know exactly what we're doing. Okay, so we need to pay close attention to guards. None of them have uh, glitch dashing. None of them have glitch dashing. This 
This is a, a lot less random than I was uh, figuring. Oh yeah, we don't have to do with you. So... We might be able to get there in one visit. We can visit here. Activate slipstream. We have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With pathfinding, that would easily, easily be enough. With manually going through, I think it'll still be enough. But even if we can't, uh, we can do a second visit and then probably leave through the fuel barrel. Okay, so slipstream. Visit and oh, I need a key. I've made a mistake. So, I made a big mistake. So, our options are visit. So we can visit again and try and get this fuel barrel. We need to make sure that every that we catch everybody though. Or we can go back and destroy this fuel barrel and leave through that. That's a little bit safer. But I think I'm gonna go up here. So because we have the slipstream going, the visitor uh, recharges much faster. Then we can go in here. Teleport behind you. We'll bash you. Hopefully that'll get you out of range of the explosion so we have one less person we need to pick up. Um, I will... Who are you? You are Sin... 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 -yi. I'll pass you over here. Bash you over there. Wrench you over here. Uh, Swansea... Toss you over here. Bash you over here. And then... And pick up the key and shoot out the fuel barrel. Ooh, you're not gonna make it. Uh, so we'll pick up you, toss you over there. You're probably gonna get sucked out. I'll just have to deal with it. All right, then I run. Oh, ran out of it. Okay, okay, okay. I need to get this. I need to get this. Okay. Open crate. Ooh, I may have blown that up too late. If I get grabbed by the visitor, then that'll be awkward. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm over. I'm overthinking this. I'm overthinking this. Okay, we're perfectly fine. Okay, so we can just wait... Okay, that was very close. Um, yeah, one of you. Okay. Wait, did you get sucked out? All right. So, that was a bit too close, sadly. If I had not gotten rid of the... If I had not blown this up, the first uh, visitor would have taken me back to the pod at which point I could have entered the pod and avoided being pulled back in for the other one. I forgot about that aspect of it. Um, I don't see anyone else getting tossed out. And it doesn't look like they got killed in, in, in the explosion or anything. So I don't know how they would have. So, I think we are good on this one. Right? Yeah, I think we're good. Don't see any 
little heat signatures out here. So, yeah. Let's head out for nine seconds. Very nice. And no one died out in space. Yay! Got a 598. Very happy with that. Very happy indeed. Uh, still got over an hour left, so we'll see how everyone else stacks up in the final time. And yesterday, we came in first with 44 seconds. And can't remember what it was. What was it? Was that the golfing one? Shotgun golfing? I think it was. Not positive, though. Oh, came in first with 44 seconds, and we have King Redbeard returning once again in second place. We have Tyrana in third, Umbretto in fourth, and A20 Llama in fifth. Good job, everybody. Looks like it was, it was a no harm day. I think that's right. I didn't miss one, did I? I it gets confusing when I play one technically two days the day before. Or two days earlier than today. But yeah, I think that was the shotgun capture of the target. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they couldn't blow up that one engine at the end to get out. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very happy with how I solved that one. Okay. So yes, good job, everybody. Top five. And that is all for today. And the Heat Signature Saturday Challenge. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.